My name's Rob Ankeny, and I work as a security engineer on the access control infrastructure team. Some servers you only want certain people to access, say that if they're sensitive, you know, the financial systems, only the financial team should access them. So that's what we do. We control the policies that give people access to certain things within Google. A security engineer is responsible for making sure that Google is protected. One of the big things that people want to do is monitor their service. They have a service that's up, they want to be able to uh, make sure that it's actually up. You know, you need to have some type of monitoring there, or they might want to be able to access it remotely to be able to manage it. This machine might be, you know, across the country in some data center. Imagine if I'm talking to you and telling you something and there's uh, a malicious person sitting next to us. If we're talking just plainly, then that malicious person can hear us. Uh, if we're talking through code, you know, an encrypted channel, that person can't hear us. So if someone has a design and they say, yeah, we just, we're, you know, we want to keep it simple and we just want to use Telnet, we'll be like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I know setting up something much more secure is a little bit more, but here's the reasons why, and this is why you should do that. Congratulations on finishing this lesson from the Google IT Support Certificate. Access the full experience, including job search help, and get the official certificate by clicking the icon or the link in the description. Watch the next lesson in the course by clicking here. And subscribe to our channel for more lessons from upcoming Google Career Certificates.